Tomo News presents Best Friends. Loyal dog protects injured doggy friend on snowy train track for two days. An injured dog that was stranded on snowy train tracks near Uzohord in Ukraine was watched over by her loyal friend for two days until help arrived. Local resident Denis Mulafiev found the two dogs named Lucy and Panda on December 26th. Panda became cautious when the dogs were approached. Mulafiev said on Facebook that Panda took care of Lucy by curling up next to her. Both of them would press themselves against the tracks when trains passed over them. Mulafiev said Panda took care of Lucy and never abandoned her during their two days on the train tracks. The dogs were taken to an animal protection center where Lucy received medical attention. Thankfully, according to Malevayev, she only sustained bruises and hematomas. So it's not exactly clear why the dogs stayed on the tracks. The animal protection center found the dogs' owners and the doggies were returned to them. In a recent Facebook update, Malevayev noted that not all people would do what Panda did for Lucy. Best man busts friends cheating wife on camera. What a happy-looking couple. If only the woman wasn't married to someone else. This unlucky wife was caught on camera cheating by her husband's best man. The video was posted on Reddit with an explanation saying that the husband suspected his wife Nina was cheating on him after a year and a half of marriage. The husband apparently asked his best man James to tell Nina after he found out what bar she was going to that night. The video, which has now gone viral, starts off with Nina all up in some other guy's business at some bar. James interrupts as Nina pulls away from the other guy and puts her head down. James asks, what's going on here? While Nina shoots back, you know what's going on. That's when Mr. Mysterious takes out his phone to shine a light at the camera so he won't be recognized. James tells him that that's a good idea and then introduces himself. After finding out, the husband went home, took the car, took a ring, and told her she had until the end of the day to move out. Hero Dog Defends Owner Attacks Armed Robbery Suspect Meet Thor. The boxer Pitbull mix credited with foiling this armed robbery attempt caught on tape by a hidden camera. The footage was released this week by Seiko Police. Here's what they say happened. Just in Ireland, a store clerk at Holly's gas station was working a shift with his three-year-old pup by his side Monday afternoon. when the suspect, seen in this police sketch, knocked on the door asking to use the phone. Ireland refused, and the would-be robber bum-rushed him, forcing his way into the store, brandishing a gun. The robber pushed Ireland, and that's when Thor intervened. He attacked the suspect, biting his hand and face. The suspect fled in a light blue Chevy Silverado, He's described as a 5'10 white male around 180 pounds with dog bites on his hands and face. Living up to the expectations of his name, it's safe to say Thor saved the day. Aw, that's a good boy. Someone get this dog a steak. Three-legged kitten becomes girl amputee's best friend. Scarlett, a two-year-old girl from California, was diagnosed with lipofibromatosis and a vague diagnosis of sarcoma when she was only 10 months old. Doctors said she was an incredibly rare medical case, and for her to survive, they had to amputate her left arm. To help Scarlett recover from the trauma of surgery and cancer, her parents gifted her with a kitten named Holly after her operation. They specifically looked for a pet with whom Scarlett could establish a special bond, like Scarlett, Holly has also lost a limb. Her left front leg was amputated after she was found bleeding from a traumatic injury in December. And the toddler and kitten immediately developed a deep friendship. According to her mom, Scarlett recognizes that the cat has similar struggles as she does. Her mother said, She's only two, but I think she really understood and it clicked with her that the cat was just like her. Loyal dog watches over trapped friend for a week. If unconvinced about the loyalty and intelligence of dogs, this story will set you right once and for all. 
An 11-year-old settler mix named Tilly endured a week in the outdoors to stay with her companion, four-year-old basset hound Phoebe, who'd managed to get herself trapped in a cistern in a ravine in Vashon, Washington, until someone found them. Phoebe and Tilly ran out of their home on September 7 while their owner was hosting a party. Their worried owner went out looking for them but couldn't find them, and so contacted Amy Carey of the non-profit Vashon Island Pet Protectors. The dogs were last seen on September 8 when Tilly was stuck in a pond with Phoebe waiting at the water's edge. Both ran off when Tilly made it back to the water. On September 14, a farmer phoned Kerry, noticing a reddish dog coming up to his property to get his attention before heading back into a ravine. Kerry set out into the ravine and called Tilly's name, which was returned with a single woof response. When Kerry finally saw Tilly, she had her head on a concrete wall of an old cistern where Phoebe was trapped. The dehydrated and exhausted dogs were reunited with their owner, who treated them to a celebratory dinner of burgers. We're just glad they're both okay. Good job, Tilly. Woman's drunk best friend blinded her with heel on New Year's Eve. Excessive drinking over one New Year's Eve has not just put a 21-year-old Brit behind bars, but it has also left her 20-year-old bestie's right eye blind for the rest of her life. Melissa Kowser and Sophie Robinson took this photo before they began to celebrate the last day of 2013. Pay attention to her shiny silver stilettos. The duo made the most of their night by going to pubs in England's northeastern town, Middlesbrough. At one point, Kowser asked Robinson to put her hairspray in her purse, but Robinson refused, saying her handbag was way too small. Kowser then forced it into her own bag. In the ladies' room, when Kowser couldn't find her hairspray, she accused her good friend of stealing it. She later rejected Robinson's suggestion of looking for it. Outside the club, an intoxicated Kowser told an officer her hairspray was stolen. She continued to chat with two other guys, leaving Robinson waiting in the cab. Robinson left alone eventually. Kowser later came back to her home in a different cab and asked Robinson to pay for the fare. Not having enough money, Robinson was shoved by Kowser as she got out. Kowser dragged Robinson onto the ground, kicked her legs and sat on top of her. Kowser's father arrived suddenly and lifted up his daughter. That's when she began stomping Robinson hitting her in the forehead, the side of her head, and her right eye, causing permanent damage. Kowser was found guilty of causing grievous bodily harm with intent at Teesside Crown Court and sentenced to seven years in jail in September. She showed no remorse in court, according to her victim. The two never spoke again, ending their three-year friendship. Robinson warns partygoers over the dangers of excessive drinking during New Year's Eve. Never had she thought her best friend, who showed no sign of violence before, would change her life completely and leave behind a deep scar. Man crushes car of best friend cheating with his girlfriend. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Well, a man can too, if sufficiently offended. A 29-year-old from Darwin, Australia crushed his best friend Sedan with a pickup truck after he caught him sleeping with his girlfriend. How would you feel after being cheated on? Here's an idea. It feels like you got crushed by a pickup truck. Yes, boys, that's what a broken heart feels like. Especially when his girlfriend and his best friend went behind his back. Ouch! The betrayal! The audacity! So here's what he decided to do. He drove his enormous pickup truck on top of his best, er, former best friend's black sedan. The man triumphantly took photos and gleefully posted them on Facebook. Revenge is mighty sweet indeed. Facebook replies to the pictures were mighty cruel, with the majority taking the side of the cheating girlfriend. Ugh! The Northern Territory Police arrested and charged the man for damaging property. But can we really put a price on a broken heart? Well, man, we think you did great. 72-year-old Aussie man fights off saltwater crocs as his best friend drowns. Best friends Noelle Ramage and Ray McComber, both in their 70s, set out on a fun day of mud crabbing together on May 17th. In their 10-foot dinghy, the pair took to the mangrove-laden waters out in the city of Darwin in northern Australia. Everything was going swimmingly until, out of nowhere, their little dinghy was rocked by a sneaky saltwater croc. Bashed from behind, the little boat immediately capsized, sending the two old men overboard. Amid the fracas, Noel found himself trapped underneath the overturned boat, drowning. By the time Ray got over to help, it was too late. His best friend had already perished. In an effort to save himself, the 72-year-old tried to hide in the mangroves, but the crocs were on his tail. 
Australia's deadly salties are known to be the most aggressive crops on Earth, so the old man knew he needed to reach into his bag of tricks if he was going to survive. Using a spanner from their boat, Ray smashed one of the crocs over the head and used a flare and spark plugs to keep the rest at bay for as long as he could. About three hours later, a bolt of fellow crappers drifted into the sea and saw old Ray in a showdown with the gang of reptiles. They immediately bolted over toward the scene and scared the crocs away, allowing Ray to climb aboard to safety. The heroic fishermen then gathered Noel's lifeless body from the water and headed back to shore to get help. Just two weeks earlier, Noel had been diagnosed with cancer. He decided to go on this little excursion with his best friend to clear his head. He was 75. Ray, meanwhile, was treated for severe shock and exhaustion after being rescued. Though he has since been released from hospital, reports indicate he hasn't yet been able to discuss the nature of the events that led him to losing his best friend. Dog tries to save dying fish. Hold on, bro. Looks like man's best friend is also Nemo's best friend. Video of this kind dog has been making the rounds on the internet. The clip shows the dog splashing water on the fish in order to help keep it alive. The dog tries frantically to save the fish while the person filming the video just keeps filming. Netizens have praised the dog while criticizing the owner of the video. You got a friend in me. A baby beaver rescued by a Canadian conservation center in 2016, who later gained internet fame as the lonely beaver, has found a friend and is lonely no more. The five-week-old baby beaver was found alone on a golf course in northwest Calgary with wounds on her tail. The beaver kit was admitted to the Alberta Institute for Wildlife Conservation so it could recover. And that's where she's been since. Aw, isn't she adorable? Noticing the female rodent was all alone, netizens quickly nicknamed her the Lonely Beaver. But it seems things are about to change for the better. Earlier this year, a two-year-old male beaver was admitted to the conservation center after he was found in a storm drain with a bite wound on his lower back. Beavers live better when they have a companion, so the conservation center decided to introduce the two to each other. According to their handlers, the two are now best friends. And since they haven't reached breeding age, their relationship is purely platonic, uh, for now. These two adorable beavers will be released together in June 2018. Since caring for wildlife is generally expensive, the Conservation Center has set up a GoFundMe page for the pair's medical costs, which are expected to amount to $23,000.